Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up Sakura Ryoko. And then you want to type in Lightmatica, like so. And if you enter here, you'll see a GitHub account here by the name of Sakura Ryoko here. And all you want to do here is click the name. From there, we want to look at two things here. We want to look at Lightmatica and Malalib. We need to download both of these to get Lightmatica to work here. So we need to begin by Lightmatica here. And the way this works is just how you click the name of the mod. And from there, all you want to do here is simply go to releases here. And from there, you'll see a couple of releases, as you can see. Now, we are interested in the 1.21.5. And this one is the one we are actually wanting. This also say this, but this is also release candidate 1. So this is incorrect. This is the one that we want, okay? So I will have a link to this one here specifically. So if you click on this one. Like, I will have a link to this one, so this you know this will work for you. So, basically, all you have to do here is once you're on this page, you want to go ahead and click Lightmatica Fabric here, the .jar one, and this will just act just like a mod. And now that we have Lightmatica for 1.25, you have to go back to the account name here, and now we need Malalib. So, the same thing, you click the name of the mod, and from there, you click Releases again, and now you have a couple of versions as well, although these do work as they are not these candidates, they are just 1.25. So I'll just get the latest one here. So I'll just click on this one. I will have a link to this one so I just know this works for you as well. So we get this one here, the same way we did before. And now we have Malalib. And now what you need is Fabric API. And to get Fabric API, you need to go to a new tab, you need to go to your search bar, and you want to search up mod vinf like so from there you should see modinf.com here let's click on modinf and this will bring you to the modinf website so all you want to do here is go to the top of the website to discover content and you want to go down to mods now you should see fabric api as it is quite the most popular thing we have on modinf here it will show up at the top although you can go ahead and search up fabric api if you really want to and it will show up here as well so all you want to do here is click fabric api and from there you want to click versions and now all you want to do is click game versions and you want to click 1.21.5 and you want to click the release of 1.21.5 here so just click the green download button and you also have fabric api so now you download the mods but we do need a uh, fabric so to get fabric you need to go to a new tab to your search bar and search up fabric api like so you need to search up Fabric Minecraft, like so. And from there, you should see Fabric MC.net here. Let's click on Fabric, and this will be into the Fabric homepage. From there, just click the blue download button and click the download for Windows button here. And you should also have Fabric installer here as well. Okay, once you're done, you can close your web browser and you can go ahead and go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. And now, what you want to do is double click the Fabric installer. And from there, you want to make sure the Minecraft version does match everything. This is just 1.15, okay? And once you're done, you can do install, okay, and close. And now you can go to your Minecraft launcher. And from there, you will be able to add the three mods to the mods folder. Here we have Fabric Loader, all good. So that means we can go to the installation tab here on the top. We can hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. And once you're here, you want to find the mods folder here and you want to double click it it should be empty and now you can go to your downloads folder you can select and copy the three mods you can go to the top left arrow to go back to the ps folder and click paste and now you have three mods in the dot minecraft mods folder fabric api malalib and lightmatica and if you're done you can go to your minecraft launcher you can go to play make sure fabric loader is selected and click play and now we just need to wait for Minecraft to load up. 
Okay. And once you're done, you can go to a single player world and you can start using Lightmatica. Now, I do have a other tutorial which is uh, easier to understand than actually like using Lightmatica because for now I will not actually show you how to use Lightmatica. I'll just show you how to download and install it because this will take a lot of time to actually explain how to use Lightmatica. But basically all you want to know here is just that if you click M, you will have Lightmatica settings and from there you can start using Lightmatica. So yeah, that is how you really get Lightmatica for 1.21.5 and if you actually want to learn how to use it if you don't know already you can go in the description that will have a tutorial on how to actually how to use Lightmatica. For now we just have Lightmatica for Minecraft Java 1.21.5. So if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!